It seems that Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom are slowly making the seaside neighborhood of Montecito, California their main residence. While they continue to live in their Beverly Hills mansion that Katy acquired for $18 million back in 2017, the couple also recently dropped over $14 million on some new luxury digs in Montecito. At the same time, Katy's also just sold her other Beverly Hills home, which acted as a guest house. We're gonna take a look at the couple's stunning houses. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Katy Perry is a singer, songwriter, and more who's made quite the career for herself as a global superstar. Not to mention her other half, Orlando Bloom, is an A-list actor in his own right. Considering Katy has amassed an estimated net worth of $330 million and Orlando's is around $40 million, the pair has certainly invested in quite the real estate together. While Katy recently unloaded one of her homes in Beverly Hills, she and Orly still own a stunning neighboring mansion, which they had made some changes to since becoming parents, and also splurged on a storied 1930s estate in Montecito. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out where Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom call home. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. This year in spring 2021, it was reported that Katie and Orlando were slowly moving to the upscale and celeb favored seaside town of Montecito, California, with the purchase of a sprawling compound. Montecito, California is located just east of Santa Barbara, and the couple's new property here is allegedly a sprawling 8.9 acres with multiple structures, while the entire perch has beautiful ocean views. Records show Katie and Orlando purchased the property off of a high profile businessman. And while it was listed in 2019 at 20 million dollars, it seems the star couple scored it for just over 14 million. The former owners kept the estate for 20 years and maintained it with the property's original spirit. It was built in 1934 and designed by Edwards and Plunkett, later extensively renovated by another architect. While we have information about Katie and Orlando's Montecito home, some sources claim the main residence is this famed Villa de Vista. The price points don't add up, but it is a fact that the couple's new estate is made up of four separate but neighboring parcels of land. So this very well could be the main mansion on the compound. When they were house hunting in Montecito, they also looked at these properties too. What we do know about Katie and Orlando's Montecito estate is that you can access it down a super long oak tree lined driveway, which then leads you to the three level Mediterranean villa. There's a rotunda entryway along with large common rooms boasting hardwood floors and neutral decor. A spacious living room has five sets of French doors opening up to the brick terrace, shaded by trees, and a cozier attached den boasts a fireplace and more French doors to a separate patio. The couple can enjoy the open kitchen, which is on the other side of the mansion's main floor, and it offers parquet wooden flooring and a breakfast room that opens to an outdoor dining space as well. Other features in the kitchen include a large island, butler's pantry, and stainless steel appliances. In the entryway, there are two staircases, one leading upstairs and one downstairs. Moving to the partially underground lower level of the home, there's a private wood paneled office, as well as a conference room for those work from home days. As you might expect, the other stairs lead to the top level of the home, where all four of the main mansion's bedrooms can be found. Katie and Orlando's luxury master suite takes up over half of the floor and is comprised of a sitting area with fireplace, dual spa style baths, a huge dressing room, and a separate walk-in closet. The couple can even enjoy some romantic moments on their private terrace that offers up views of the stunning grounds and the Pacific Ocean. Other rooms in their new Montecito abode include a glassed-in sunroom, a family room, and of course a home movie theater, just to name a few. Elsewhere on the sprawling property, there are bonus structures all serving a different purpose, including a four-car garage with a powder room, as well as an upper-level guest house. This guest suite has everything from a full kitchen to a bedroom suite, a private office, and its own spacious living and dining area. If that's not enough, set far from the main house, there's a secluded swimming pool made with gorgeous 
largest tiles, along with a pool house that boasts two more bedrooms and two full baths. Some other amenities at Katie and Orlando's new place include a full-size sports court, formal gardens, as well as numerous fountains. The charming property also has plenty of mountain and ocean views as well. We can catch certain glimpses of the couple settling down in the new home, and I'm sure there's more to come. For example, Orlando posed on a motorcycle in front of the arched garages at the new home, which we can see boasts a ton of space. Let's not forget that back in 2017, Katie picked up her main Beverly Hills property, which has still been serving as her and Orlando's family residence for the last few years. The pop star dropped $19 million in an off-market deal for the secluded estate, located in a celebrity-loved enclave in the upper Coldwater Canyon area of Beverly Hills. This property spans 1.16 acres of land and has a main mansion which spans 5,427 square feet of space inside. The home is a two-story contemporary for the most part and is parked behind massive gates at the end of a super long driveway. There's even off-street parking for more than 20 cars in case you want to have a party with a ton of guests. There are features like 5 bedrooms, 5.5 bathrooms, as well as 3 fireplaces throughout. The common spaces boast many walls of glass to allow for that essential indoor-outdoor vibe and there are also high ceilings and an open floor plan. There are plenty of shaded terraces to walk out on from the home as well as open patios, all within the landscaped grounds. Outside the beautiful estate has a double-edged infinity pool as the focal point and that looks over the woods and the canyon. While that's all we got from the listing materials, over the years, Katie and Orlando have shared glimpses into their Beverly Hills abode as well. Katie showed a bit of her walk-in wardrobe after they welcomed baby Daisy into the world, thanking friends for gifts. We can see that the walk-in closet has wooden floorboards, white walls, and plenty of colorful dresses just like you'd expect of the star. The singer also dressed up as hand sanitizer for American Idol and the video she made showed off her kitchen. This massive space has floor to ceiling white wooden cabinets on one wall, as well as a work island with built in sink right at the center. We also saw one of Katie and Orlando's living rooms when she was filming Idol from the space during the lockdown, and the entire room here is painted navy blue with wood panels on the walls, while a fireplace has a TV mounted above along with built in cabinets. Outside the garden also has a large lawn with flower beds and tropical plants while the couple added a red baby swing for Daisy. Aside from this house, after nearly 7 months on the market, Katie also finally unloaded her nearby Beverly Hills guest house property for just under $7.5 million. Clearly it's not actually a guest house and it's a mansion on a self-contained property, but it served as a guest house in Katie's case, well, just because she can. The pop star purchased the abode in 2018 for $7.45 million according to records, but it was clearly the one that got away considering she didn't make much bank on the sale. This secluded property is fully gated and located at the end of a hidden street, while the house boasts over 4,400 square feet inside with 4 beds and 4.5 baths throughout. Of course, it's in the same gated community as her main mansion here too, the celeb-loved Hidden Valley Enclave. It seems that Katie hasn't changed much about her bonus Beverly Hills home while owning it, except some minor interior changes and more modern decorations. The grounds still have the same grassy lawn, mature trees, and classic oval-style swimming pool. This home was built in 1960 as a ranch-style abode, but it seems a previous owner added an extension to change the shape, and these days there are two wings. One of the wings encompasses the master bedroom suite, while the other has an additional bedroom suite as well as an office and more. Once you enter the double doors at the front, there's a long concrete path that leads past the home's kitchen, dining room, living room, and pool before reaching the actual front door. Confusing, no? Anyways, this kitchen and family room are at opposite ends of the residence, another strange setup. Beyond the front door, there's a spacious entryway with hardwood flooring, as well as a brass chandelier and two guest rooms on the ground floor as well. The living and dining areas both have fireplaces, while the eat-in kitchen boasts stainless steel appliances. The main master retreat is made up of a bedroom, private balcony, sitting room, two walk-in closets, and a large master bath 
with steam shower and soaking tub. And for another bonus, there's a loft like second floor above the garage in the property, which acts as a living room. It also has a spare room that could be used as another sleeping quarter or a studio. Now that we've taken a look at Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom's luxury homes, I think that concludes our house tour. That was some expensive California real estate to say the least. We looked at what we know about their new compound in Montecito, where it appears they're moving to, as well as their main mansion in Coldwater Canyon, and the guest house that Katie just sold. After checking out those homes, did you guys have a fave? While they're all nothing short of impressive, I gotta see the Montecito one is probably the most charming and special out of the three. Just by the sounds of it and what we can see of the property, it looks like a fairy tale. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Katie and Orlando's homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!